Andre, the video was a topic of discussion in a procedural law class here today. We're going to show you some of that video. We want to warn you, it is disturbing. How many uh, people, just sort of stick your hand up, has seen some kind of news coverage regarding the incident uh, since last class? The video of the beating death of Tyree Nichols has stretched far beyond Memphis to this criminal procedure class at the University of Baltimore School of Law where it's become part of a lesson. Honestly, it frightens me as a black student, especially as a black law student, um, preparing to become a lawyer. It shows me that there are many ways that I can advocate for people who look like me and people who are actually becoming victims to police brutality. These students agree Nichols' death was a criminal act. Many brought up the fact that this keeps happening again and again, prompting a discussion about how to stop the cycle. I think that we need to start prosecuting like law enforcement officers who do these things and also ending qualified immunity so that people can, so there can be some kind of consequence. It kind of shows that there isn't a universal standard across the country of what police are and are not allowed to do. I think that's a very good point. Um, I do think a universal standard of policing is something that would help us uh, create conformity among the departments. These students are the future of the legal system and they see it as a priority and a duty to advocate for just policing practices and help reform our criminal justice system. Me as a law student, like I want to be able to advocate for other black people in my community and I want to make it so that it's safe for them to just walk around and exist. And I think it's important for people to know their rights, but I also think that it's important that police respect the rights of other people. The students say they hope this video will help create a lot of discussions and dialogue to help affect change. Reporting live in Mount Vernon, Kim Day, CWBAL TV 11 News.